Hello everyone, how are you guys? I hope you're fine, I'm fine too. Today we will examine the axolotl. The larvae of this species do not undergo metamorphosis, so the adults live in water and have gills. The habitat of this species is mainly the Mexican Lake Chalco and the mountain lakes of Mexico. Axolotls are widely used in scientific research as they have the ability to regenerate various parts of their body and limbs, are easy to breed, and their embryos are large. It is also bred as a pet in many countries. This species was originally found in several lakes that lie beneath Lake Xochimilco in Mexico City. Axolotls are unusual among amphibians in that they reach adulthood without metamorphosis. The adults stay in the water instead of going ashore and protect their gills. Axolotls should not be confused with the larval stage of the closely related Ambistoma tigrinum, common in most of North America and occasionally becoming pedomorphic. It should also not be confused with the purely aquatic Nectura species from a different family, which is not closely related to the axolotl but bears a superficial resemblance. By 2020, wild axolotls were on the verge of extinction due to urbanization and consequent water pollution in Mexico City, as well as the emergence of invasive species such as tilapia and sea bass. They are listed by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, as critically endangered in the wild with a dwindling population of about 50 to 1,000 adult individuals and are listed in Appendix 2 of the Convention on Trade in Endangered Species, Sites. The axolotl is widely used in scientific research due to its ability to regenerate parts of its limbs, gills, eyes, and brain. Axolotl was also sold as food in Mexican markets and formed the basis of the Aztec diet. These animals, which are a type of salamander, have to continue to live in water, unlike other examples of their species, as they have not completed their evolution. It is one of the rare creatures without eyelids.